Tao Te Ching. 42. The Tao gives birth to one. One gives birth to two. Two gives birth to three. Three gives birth to all things. All things have their backs to the female and stand facing the male. When male and female combine, all things achieve harmony. Ordinary men hate solitude, but the master makes use of it, embracing his aloneness, realizing he is one with the whole universe. Dao De Jing, 42. Encouragement along the way. I pray that you are doing well today. I pray that all is going well with you, my friend, and fellow journeyman and fellow seeker. If you are here, then that probably means that you are on a journey of spiritual enlightenment, that you are seeking enlightenment, seeking answers from on high. And I'm glad that you found the Tao. I found the Tao. Back in 2017 is when I found it. And everything has been slowly, progressively becoming more at ease and more way woo way, more doing, not doing. Look at that, it's 555 on the clock. <coughs> Synchronicity, are you experiencing it? It's right around sunset here in my neck of the woods. Um, are you observing nature? Man, it has been really, really beautiful here lately. Even though the sirens are going off and the birds are flying in the sky and the, and the cars are driving, there's still peace here and right now for me. Staying at the center, holding on to the center, Staying at the center and letting all things come and go effortlessly is the way that the master leads. His heart is as open as the sky. But I digress. Let me, let's get into Tao Te Ching 42. The Tao gives birth to one. One gives birth to two. Two gives birth to three. Three gives birth to all things. <clears throat> this Tao is kind of like three parts in its uh, writing and its formulation. And uh, it's fascinating. I find it fascinating. It, it, it talks about male and female coming together and, well, you have one. Let's say that's a male or a female. And then you have two. You have the male and female coming together. And then you have three. And that's the family, and three gives birth to all things. I've even heard some spiritual people say that once you get three spiritual people together, then then you're really cooking. Um, <clears throat> the Bible says where two or more are gathered in my name, in the name of Jesus, there I am as well. But I, I think there's a principle um, Ecclesiastes says a cord of three strands is not easily broken. How can one keep warm alone, but when one lieth with, an, with another, then they can keep warm? Trying to be a lone wolf, spiritual, whatever that is, a Jason Bourne, a James Bond Christian, a James Bond spiritual guru, perhaps that isn't the way. Perhaps we're built for community. It says that three gives birth to all things. So that means more rather than just one and solo. So I pray that you are getting some sense of community and that you are not just a lone wolf Christian, that you're not just a lone wolf seeker and that you have community, even though I understand how hard that is today. And I myself am rather lone wolfy. I've expressed before that... <clears throat> I even considered becoming a monk for a while, very seriously about it. But then the Lord told me no, 
he told me otherwise. And you got to listen. You got to listen to the promptings. You got to say yes when the Spirit speaks to you. Just like the old hymn says, I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey when your Spirit speaks to me with my whole heart. I'll agree and my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. So you have to say yes when the Spirit is prompting you. You have to say yes when the Spirit is <clears throat> speaking to you through your belly. Continuing on, part two of this one, two, three Tao. All things have their backs to the female and stand facing the male. When male and female combine, all things achieve harmony. Well, this just is very uh, yin-yang. It's very... It's very, it, it, just even saying it and contemplating as it comes out of my mouth, it, it, it sounds harmonious. All things have their back to the female and stand facing the male. When male and female combine, all things achieve harmony. This is beautiful. These concepts are beautiful to me. Some people may get <clears throat> the wrong impression of this, but is there a correct order? to things? Did the Supreme Creator, did the Great Creator, did Source, did God, did the Great Creator, did did the one original Source being that created all things, did he not have a, 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 a divine holy order to things? Is it not, is there not an order to life? All things have their backs to the female and stand facing the male. When male and female combine, all things achieve harmony. Finishing on the last and third point of this, Tao Te Ching 42, it says, Ordinary men hate solitude, but the master makes use of it, embracing his aloneness, realizing he is one with the whole universe. Well, I can attest to this. I, I have retreated into solitude many times for my own personal health and wellness and well-being. I mean, it's, I need honestly to retreat into solitude often to recharge my batteries because the world will deplete you. There will be so many things that are trying to stretch you and vie for your attention. And that's not even counting and mentioning all the just distractions that you're consuming day to day and seeing with social media and media and the telephone and everything. All the things vying for your attention. Whenever you retreat into solitude, it's, it's much easier to slow down. It's much easier to sync up with nature. When you're grounding, when you're alone, when you embrace aloneness and realize that you're one with the whole universe, your heart becomes as open as the sky. You are shapeable as a block of wood. You are receptive as a valley. It's being alert as a warrior in enemy territory. It's being as the ancient masters who were one with the Tao. I pray that you are understanding. And uh, I've got... The cross showing today, I'm really feeling con uh, a strong connection to Jesus, and I want to speak the very last words of Revelation in the very last chapter of the very last book, in the very last verses. Revelation 22, verse 20. He which testifies these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. I pray that you have a relationship with Jesus and he's chilling at your core. I pray that you understand the wisdom of Jesus Christ, Christ and him crucified. The Tao, I believe, is a conduit to the truth. What is the truth? The word is truth. What is the word? The word is Jesus. We'll see you guys on the next one.